evening. Uh, like you said, my name is Jason. I've uh, been at Endeavor for about five and a half years now. Uh, started out with help desk, so just helping the employees with computer problems and printers and phones and that kind of thing. Uh, so I still do a little bit of that. Like you said, we've done e-techs, computer repair for customers and for members and non-members. And uh, I've kind of moved on to some other things, but I still do the computer repair every now and then and e-techs and that kind of stuff. We have another gentleman by the name of Jake uh, that helps out a lot with that now. But uh, just a little bit about me. Uh, like she said, we're going to be talking about tablets and wireless devices. And uh, who has a what I would call a smartphone? Anybody have a smartphone? So it's got the, got the screen. One, two hands, three hands. Okay. You of you. And then who's got a? Uh, I saw one tablet. Does anybody else already have a tablet or iPad or anything like that? Okay, what do you have? I have an Apple iPad. Apple iPad. And what was your, yours was an Android. I don't know what mine is. Okay, I don't know if it's a Kindle. I don't know all of them. Uh, I'll stop my head just by looking at them. But, uh, so yeah, an iPad. All right, so we're going to talk about some of this. Mine's got a little girl games on it because my daughter really uses it. But. And then the laptops. And uh, we're actually going to talk, I don't really talk about it too much, but this is on the slide. This is actually a Chromebook. Has anybody ever heard, heard of a netbook? They're like laptops, only smaller. They're like a little 10, 11 inch screens. This was a 12 inch screen. Uh, Chromebooks are a little bit different. They. Uh, they didn't really have much of a desktop or much local storage. It's really just for getting on the internet. Because all it really is is a browser. Uh, so like if you're on your computer or something, you know, you open up Internet Explorer or Mozilla Firefox or maybe Google Chrome to go on the internet. But you'll see a lot of, uh, you'll see some Chromebooks if you go out to the stores. Best Buy has them. Actually, Walmart has one now. I think HP. HP, and this is a Samsung. but. They're out there, just to make sure before you buy one you know what you're buying. Because it's not like a normal computer. Uh, but we'll go ahead and go through some of this and there should be plenty of time. We're starting a little bit late, but I don't do plenty of time for questions. Uh, this is not a real in-depth presentation. We're just kind of going over a few things, a little bit about what's in the, the handout there as well. But, we just want to really touch on some different tablets. Are, is anybody really looking to buy a tablet soon? <clears throat> okay. All right. And if there's something you know that we don't touch on, you have a question about later, that's fine. I'm open for, for whatever questions you have. So uh, it's just kind of what we already went through, the type of wireless connections that you can have, cellular, cell phone. Um, cell phones use 3G or 4G, or you may have heard of LTE. Verizon likes to use that term, LTE networks. Um, 4G is faster than 3G, LTE is faster than 4G, so the speeds that you can get, right, if you uh, all have internet with us, you know, we have 3 meg packages, 6 meg, 15, 25, 50, 1.5, those type of things. So. 3G, 4G, and LTE, those are all really just different speeds in newer networks. But Wi-Fi, so Wi-Fi is everywhere. I mean, you can have Wi-Fi on your phone, laptop, all these things, right? Or even through your router at the house. Bluetooth is a little bit different. Uh, a lot of people have Bluetooth keyboards and mice. Um, if you, any of you guys have seen the new commercials by Samsung with the phone, and they got the little fancy watch on there, and, Incoming call, those are connected through Bluetooth. So we're just rehashing old stuff here. Mobile phones, laptops, netbooks, Chromebooks, and uh, your tablets. I think I was, I don't know everything about every tablet, so I was doing a little bit of research on Best Buy. And uh, you know how a lot of times when you're shopping for something, you can sort by different categories of manufacturers. Uh, it showed a few, about five or six. And then it had all, and there was a number 99 by it. So like 99 different companies are make at least one 
tablet. So that's a lot of different devices, a lot of a lot of new players <coughs> and e-readers. Gaming devices, we don't really talk about that too much. So there's three main operating systems. Uh, you have Google, which is Android. So they have an operating system on their phone, and a lot of tablets use Android as well. Kindle, I believe Kindles use Android. Nooks, I'm not sure what Nooks use, but a lot of your uh, tablets use Android operating system. And Google makes that. And as it says here, they have, everybody has a store, right? You can go do things, go buy things, uh, whether it's free or, or paid. Go get apps. So Google has Google Play. <coughs> and then there's Apple. Uh, just strictly, Apple is kind of close to the best of all their stuff. They don't, go, they don't let anybody go out and make a generic tablet and put Apple's operating system on it, like Android. Android's kind of a... Android's kind of free. It's open source and it's free, so anybody can take the, the basics, the foundation, and go put it on something. <clears throat> but Apple's a little different. Microsoft is a, a kind of a hybrid. So the only thing you're going to find Apple on is your iPad minis, your iPad Airs, uh, Mac, Mac lap, laptop, MacBook Pros, and that kind of thing, and uh, iPods, iTouches. Blackberry's still hanging around by a thread, so they still make phones. I don't think they make any tablets. They might, but mainly phones. And then Windows. So Microsoft is a big one. Uh, Microsoft Surface is a Windows tablet. My <coughs> Microsoft lets other manufacturers put their operating system on their tablets. So they're not like Apple. But not everybody can go out there and do it on their own. I couldn't just make, grab a device and decide to make my own little version of Windows. So there's a few of them. Apple iPad Air, Android, as you can tell on the name, has Android, Google's operating system. Windows Surface, these are some of the bigger players right now, most popular ones. Uh, Galaxy Tab. Anybody's heard of that? That's kind of another one by Samsung. Uh, Asus, Acer, HP, Toshiba. Some of those names you might recognize uh, that make computers also make tablets. <coughs> so the iPad, just a few features. I think a lot of it's the same. Some of them you can just get Wi-Fi on. Some of them you can get Wi-Fi and your cellular connection. So it'll work on 3G, 4G or LTE, some of those networks we were talking about. And obviously, the more capabilities it has, the higher the price. <coughs> has the iPad Air, iPad Mini. The iPad Mini, I believe, is a seven inch tablet. iPad Air's 10 or so, and maybe 11. Uh, they all have different sizes. Um, I'm sure there's some 8 gig ones out there. A lot of them start out with 16 gig of storage now. 16, 32 gig, 64 gig. And that's actually storage, what you can hold on there. So maybe a video that you, you record or pictures that you take. Or uh, the apps that you install all go, all take up room. What's it look like when you get too full? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't even know. If it'll tell you it's almost full, I don't use that much on this one. I think this one's just an 8 gig. It's a, it's a little bit older iPad. So I've had two, I believe. They've got iPad 4s and everything else now. So does it have Safari on it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's going to come on. That's going to be the browser okay. on your iPad or iPad Mini is Safari. Is the iPad Air 4 then or Generation 4? iPad Air is probably Generation 4. It's hard to keep up with all the generations yeah. and the numbers and everything else. But, uh, FaceTime is a pretty popular, kind of like Skype, in a way for the Skype, but it's kind of a face-to-face -face video chat. On Apple iCloud, uh, that's just a way of storing all your information, your apps, if you buy music, uh, all your photos and everything you take with an iPad or an iPad Air. If, uh, it, they're with iCloud, 
So let's say that you had an iPad and you had a, an iPhone as well, or maybe you had a, a Macintosh laptop, a Mac. So you could take photos with your iPad and it'll get synced to iCloud and you'll be able to see those photos on your laptop. So it's kind of a central storage that you can use all your Apple products to access and, and view those. And it just syncs with all those devices. Probably, I can't remember how many tens of thousands of apps there are on these storage, but it's quite a bit. But iPad, iPad Air, those are really the only two tablets that Apple makes. <clears throat> and then Android Nexus 7, obviously is a seven inch tablet. That's the only size, I believe, that they have in the Nexus. There's not any bigger ones. And Nexus, this is actually a Google product. Google, Google makes these themselves. So the Galaxy Tab that I talked about earlier, that's made by Samsung. <clears throat> Same basic stuff for the most part. Uh, this one, you can set up multiple users on. So it's not just uh, so if you want to, some of them I think like even the Kindle have uh, you can have some kind of basic parental controls on those. I don't know if they have parental controls on the Nexus. They can set up multiple users. Customize, yeah. Get a ton of apps in the, the store there. And then Microsoft's more popular one, Microsoft Surface. Uh, they have Microsoft Surface, Microsoft Surface 2, Microsoft Surface Pro, so they have different varieties. They all have their own little um, features. As far as, you know, the camera might be a little bit better, might have more megapixels on the Surface Pro than the regular Microsoft Surface. So you just have to evaluate those. The best way to do it really is whatever store you go to, they're going to know 10 times more than I do because they sell the products every day. The Surface doesn't do 3G or 4G, so it won't use a cell, cell network, which isn't a big deal. I wouldn't worry about it too much anyway. Uh, could it replace a computer? Yeah, it could. Um, it just depends on what you want to do. Uh, it's like me, I don't even have a computer at home anymore. Uh, the only thing that I really, I've got this. This is all I ever need right now. Because uh, I never really do anything. Um, I don't play solitaire or any games on the computer like that. Uh, so all I had left on my computer was about 30 gig of pictures and some videos. So I've got all that in a little tiny flash drive, 64 gig flash drive that I bought. <coughs> 40 bucks, I think, at Walmart. But you can run Office, for example, on these cameras? You can run Office. Oh, you can? Yep. <laughs> yep. Can yep. you run Office on the, uh, on the iPad? No. Not that I know of. I thought I wanted to say that I read something somewhere that they were possibly going to let <coughs> start doing that. But they have their own uh, spreadsheet and word processor. You might run into some compatibility issues, though. If you go and make that, and then try to send it to somebody, they may not be able to look at it. You made the, uh, the uh, oh, on the iPad. Apple has its own, you say? Yeah, yeah. I think there's actually a little, little blurb about it in there. Yeah. On the sheet. I've never used it. Word processing spreadsheets. Yeah, they've got their own little app that you can download for that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, uh, the Microsoft Surface, Surface 2, Surface Pro, those come with uh, Office on it. So it's going to come with Word, Excel, <coughs> I believe Outlook, uh, OneNote, and maybe a PowerPoint. It has a, a keyboard, the commercial on TV shows the keyboard. Yeah, you can get the keyboard with it. So I don't know how user friendly it is, especially without a keyboard yeah. to use it, but it is on there. What about Acrobat? Can, can you run a little PDF? On what? On these tablets. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't know how many of them have Adobe Reader already installed when you buy it. I'd imagine most of them do. Because it would be kind of inconvenient to have to go out and download Adobe Reader and install it. 
<coughs> on a tablet from their website. I'm guessing most of them have reader built into it. Uh, the other thing to think about is uh, this probably isn't a big deal to most of you, but before Windows 8 came out, or well, it's actually right at the same time, Microsoft made some tablets. The original Microsoft Surface uh, has a slightly different operating system on it. It's not Windows 8. It's what they call Windows RT, which it looks like Windows 8, and it operates like it for the most part. It just has some certain restrictions and software compatibility issues. Uh, so like, the biggest thing is you can only install applications on the RT version from the Windows store, the Microsoft store. Whereas if you got a Surface 2, a Surface Pro, or something, anything, Windows 8, as long as it's a Microsoft Windows tablet, with Windows 8, not Windows RT, you could theoretically go out to Adobe's website and download Adobe Reader right from the website. So it has, a, it might have a few software restrictions for Windows RT. You can't just go out to a web page and download and install a piece of software. It has to be from the app store that they have. So that's something to think about. It may not affect any of you. You may not need to do that anyway. I don't know how many tablets are really out there with Windows RT still. I know they've got one or two at Best Buy. I was there a couple months ago. They still had some RT tablets. But for the most part, you may, you may just want to get a Windows 8 if you're going to get a Windows tablet. Just make sure it has Windows 8 just to be safe. I think they're going to stop supporting it in 2017, which is still a few years away. But they, they pretty much decided that it wasn't, it was pretty much a bust uh, on the market, so they, they stopped <coughs> making it with Windows RT and Windows tablets. Like I said, includes all the suite. Got a card reader on it. Most of them do, not all of them. It just depends. So if you have a SD card reader on a camera or something, an actual camera, no, or even a phone, but if you want to plug it in and be able to download those photos for whatever reason on your tablet, uh, you might just want to make sure it's got a card reader and it's compatible. That kind of thing. Microsoft's App Store, it isn't as big. Uh, they're not as popular as Apple and Android, Google, so they don't have as many apps as Google and uh, Apple do. Like I said, it may not be a big deal to you. You may not you may just want to get on there and do Facebook or Pinterest or something like that. So it may not really affect you too much. Um, on the Windows, I know a lot of people who are buying computers, just regular computers, don't like the new Windows 8. You know, the whole little film strip, or they call it Metro style, I think. Uh, you know, that's the way it's going to be if you buy a Windows tablet. That's the way it's going to look, just, just to let you know. Which, Windows 8 was really, it was designed for tablets, touch screen, and that kind of thing. But, just to let you know, that, that will be on this. Um, so, how do you choose the right one? I mean, really, just a couple of things. <coughs> If you've got something already, if you have an iPhone now, you're probably maybe used to it a little bit. Uh, you may just want to buy an Apple tablet or an iPad mini, an iPad Air or an iPad mini. Um, not just because you may already be kind of familiar with how it operates, but the whole iCloud syncing photos and if you want to get into that at all, um, syncs your apps and that kind of thing, um, you're already ready to go. Or it's the same with me. Like I would, I would never buy it. I didn't buy that. I got that at a training thing. My iPad. Um, I wouldn't go buy an iPad because I have Google products everywhere. I got a Google laptop. I got a Google phone, and I have I use Gmail and all that stuff. So it's for me. I'd rather stick with them because everything's synced. I can get email on all my devices and all my contacts. I keep in. In Google, Google uh, Gmail, I have all my contacts for everybody in there, so I just sync that account on my phone, and all my contacts are already there. So for me, it would just make sense to stick with Android. So that's something to consider. The other thing, and really <coughs> just as important, is 
what do you what do you what are you buying it for? What are you really needing to do? Are you just trying to get on the internet? Just want to do Facebook? Uh, those kind of things. So, so what's your decision for buying it? And that's going to be one thing that they probably ask you in the store. I know I walk by customer service at the office. People are calling in to sign up for internet, and I can see as I'm walking by, well, you know, what are you going to be using the internet for, right? You know, you'll be doing a bunch of uploading or downloading videos, photos, whatever, watching Netflix from your computer. So they use that question to gauge how fast of an internet package that they are going to recommend to that person. So it's no different with any of this. You know, really, what are you going to use it for? What do you need it for? You need Microsoft Office. If you do, you may not want to buy an iPad or an Android. You may want to get a, a tablet. So those are some of the things to consider. What do you really need it for? <coughs> um, you know, do you, do you use Skype and you know, you want to make sure it has a camera on it. Most of them do anyway, but just questions like that just to be thinking about. So you just make sure that you're getting what you want and what you're going to need, the functionality. Separate user accounts, usually not too big of a deal. I guess it could be for some people with kids. Try to do some parental controls on some devices. <coughs> Um, like I said, that was a really broad overview of just a few, a few things, and uh, really there's only three. There's Microsoft, Windows, tablets, Apple, iPads with their operating system, and Google's Android system. Thank you very much. Thank you.